Hey everyone, welcome back to Primal Reef and Acrylics. This is yet again another update. Um, I believe this is the third sump I've made now. Uh, four including mine. But um, this is for a customer on YouTube. Um, you can check out his channel. Pretty good guy. I met up with him. Uh, it's C-N-Z Reef. Um, that's C for Charlie. N for November. Z for Zulu. Reef. If you look that up. Um, he'll see a couple of his videos. Uh, he will be posting a review on this whole sump. Uh, this sump is pretty gigantic. It's pretty wide actually. So it measures 40 inches in length, 20 inches in depth, 18 inches high. <clears throat> uh, this sump here, uh, it's not white. What you see, the white and the blue, is just a cover. I'm going to peel that off and be painting the sump uh, probably white at the bottom and black at the back. But uh, overall, uh, what I went with here is a uh, three-eighths acrylic all around, enforced with a quarter-inch baffles all the way across. I ignore the blue. The blue is again a protective cover. I'm going to be peeling that off. It's going to be clear. Um, I have I just like I've posted in the past before. The inner blacks of the refugium. You want to have that black, guys, because you don't want light penetrating outside the box. I think I've already covered that in another video. Another thing about the sump is that off to the left hand side top corner you have a one inch uh, intake for the hose to come in and then you have a four inch filter sock holder. So just what I did even with this, you guys can see the pictures on Facebook which I'll note later again. How I did this was it's just a regular five inch by five inch piece, cut a hole on the inner diameter uh, four inches and then just kind of rounded off the edges and then polished everything off so if you can see the glitter it's pretty shiny <clears throat> all right uh, this sump was now uh, pretty much it it has five compartments this is completely different from the other sumps I've made so the first compartment starting from the left hand side is the skimmer there is it's it's the skimmer section the chamber all the, the, the baffles that I have here, they're 13 inches high from the ground. When you start coming, coming towards the right hand side, towards the end, it goes 13, 13, it goes 10, and then it goes, sorry, it goes 12, and then it goes uh, 10. <clears throat> but anyways, starting with the first chamber, a uh, customer has a skimmer. Uh, I'm not sure what he has currently right now. He will upgrade it. I will be making, because every skimmer, you guys have to check the ratings on them. They have to be at a certain amount of depth. So always be careful. You don't want to just start making sums for no reason. <clears throat> you make them according to what equipment you have. And also, you know, if even if the 13-inch depth is a lot, you can always put spacers at the bottom to raise the skimmer a bit higher. So that's the first chamber. So the water flows over. <clears throat> Here's my little guide. There he is. Um, water flows over the top into the first compartment, taking away most of the bubbles, and then heading to the refugium. Now in the refugium, as I covered in the past, you always want to have black baffles. The reason why for the black is when you have the light, you don't want it to penetrate outside the box. This reason is because you don't want algae to start growing in the skimmer section or the other sections of the sump. You want to keep algae within one area. <clears throat> so again, water flows down, um, loops around a couple times, flows over. Now in this chamber here, this is the third chamber, we're going to have a biopellar reactor and also a GFO reactor. <clears throat> hopefully uh, the customer from CNZ Reef, he will be posting a video on this and uh, hopefully he can send me some pictures so I can definitely show you guys. Um, he'll put a video response on this channel for this video. <clears throat> So after that, we're going to have, after the reactor chamber, you're going to have this, uh, the water flow down into the sponge. <clears throat> now this is going to have a 2-inch sponge within the, the, the channel here. The 2-inch sponge will eliminate all the bubbles and then all the fine sediments that the skimmer doesn't pick up. It's going to be trapped in the sponge and then it flows down, over, and then into the return pump. So the return pump here, I have 6 inch gap. Now the 6 inch gap, uh, you can fit, I believe it's about almost 90% of the, the return pumps out there in the market. Uh, currently he has a mag drive 9.5, so that, that, should be, that should be good. Now the reason why I don't make a video on how this 
um, acrylic is made, guys, or how the sump is made, is only for the reason because it takes a very long time. You can't just put four or five pieces together and then let it dry for, for half an hour and be okay with it. It's a pretty tedious process. Um, <clears throat> one of the main things you want to purchase when you have or when you build any type of um, acrylic tanks, sumps, anything you guys make regarding square boxes is you want to have a 90 degree L clamp. Now this, again, it helps you wonders. Um, placing tanks, you can have places where you can hold corners, lock them in tight so you're not sitting there with just your regular straight clamp. And again, pressure's not on dot, um, the edges are not lining up. <clears throat> so you want to have those. I purchased these from, uh, what was it, Lowe's I think, in Canada here. So in Lowe's, they're, they're about 12 bucks. Purchase two of them, which is more than enough. You can go for it. It's totally your call. So I've covered uh, the, the filter sock area. All I have now to do is put on one last cover. And that cover, let it dry for about eight, six, eight hours. Um, I'm using Weldon 4, which is right here. Okay, Weldon 4. It's pretty fast working... Um, glue here for acrylics the working time is pretty much one to two minutes fixture time is three minutes 80 percent strength is anywhere from 24 to 36 hours um, like I said reason why I don't make videos on how to glue it is just reason why is because even though the fixture time is three minutes and if you take the clamps off after about 15 20 maybe one hour you'll start seeing bubbles inside the seams so for that reason guys, I don't make that. Um, if you guys really really want me to uh, make a video on how to glue, I can do an instructional video but I'm sure if you YouTube uh, how to glue acrylic, there are many people online um, and other companies who have posted on how to do this. So in that sense, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty straightforward. I had a rough drawing that I have here. <clears throat> uh, this is just a rough sketch before I actually cut anything. So as you can see, you guys can pause the video and just take the measurements if you guys want. It's totally your call. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, that's that. I uh, hope you guys do like the video. Uh, this sump will be at the customer within this week. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's an awesome sump. If you guys have any questions regarding sumps, um, want to purchase sumps, you guys can definitely email me at Primal Reef and acrylics at live.com um, I suggest everybody if you guys want log into my Facebook channel please um, you will follow the link on my homepage where the Mandarin Gobi is on the top uh, art there you're gonna see a Facebook logo there so you gotta click on the Facebook logo even if you don't have a Facebook account you can still access my business page if you guys want to purchase some please personally email me if you want to make custom tanks at acrylic glass rimless cubes um i do anything guys so let me know okay you guys can see the step-by-step -step procedure on how this sump was built there are many pictures online so in that sense that's it hope you guys like it stay tuned for the final phase this is a part one stay tuned for part two you, i'm gonna have everything all polished off uh the edges polished off and um painted and give you the final result. If you guys have any questions on how the sump operates and if you want the customer's honest opinion on it, again, log on to CNZ Reef on YouTube and you guys can personally message him and uh, you can have an unbiased opinion on this, on how the sump was built and uh, how the quality is and if, if he likes it and if you guys like it. So, right guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Again, spread the word. Log on to the Facebook channel, please. And hit like. Thank you very much for watching Primal Reef and Acrylics.